Uh, can I welcome you to this Treasury Committee evidence session? It's our first oral evidence session on our inquiry into sexism in the city, uh, following up on the work that this committee previously did in 2018. And thank you to everyone who has submitted evidence to our inquiry. We've had a lot of evidence. Uh, we've just agreed to publish that evidence uh, during the course of this session. Um, some of it we've had to obviously anonymise, um, but uh, we did want to focus this committee's work on the progress on this issue since 2018. And why is this important to us as a committee? It's important because obviously the financial services sector is one of the jewels in the crown of the UK economy. It's an area where we really lead. Um, it is uh, increasingly demonstrably the case that sectors that do well in terms of diversity and inclusion perform better financially and lead to better economic growth for our whole uh, country. And we wanted to look and see how things had changed since 2018. Had there been an improvement? There are uh, companies across the financial sector who are making real strides to be more gender equal. Where we're not seeing the systemic change is that that best practice is not trickling down. Mm. So I think we can say that there is real evidence now about what works and also a sense that there's no reason why financial services can't do this. Um, it's just about all of those people who aren't willing to do it yet actually yeah. now being made to do so. Um, uh, Helena, you mentioned the Women in Finance Charter and indeed more and more firms seem to have signed up to that and it covers now mm. a million employees. But you also mentioned that nearly 90% of investment management decisions mm -hmm. are still made by, uh, by men. Is it the case that uh, there are certain sectors in financial services where um, perhaps those that are not publicly listed, where um, this is a worse issue than uh, in those that have, say, adopted the charter? Has the charter made a difference uh, to the sector? And are there areas where it could be given more teeth? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to concur with Alicia here. I think there are people, companies that are market leaders here and who set great store by the importance of having more women at all levels in their organisation. But unfortunately, I think it's very inconsistent. And I actually don't think it's um, necessarily correlated, although one doesn't have the sort of data of all the people who haven't signed up to the Charter, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, I, I have seen examples where people sign up to the Charter, dust it down once a year. And, you know, then sort of, oh, how far have we progressed? Oops, you know, we have to set a new target sort of thing. Mm -hmm. And there's obviously um, a wide range of definitions, for example, over senior management, etc. Mm -hmm. So I think it's been a good thing, um, but I don't think it's enough at this stage to really um, move on from what has been probably centuries of, um, sort of sexism and certainly underrepresentation mm -hmm. of women in mm -hmm. the city. 